If you're working at home and you do not have scratch board to use for the uh, scratch board tree project, I want to show you just a quick little uh, tip what you can do with just paper and some crayons to make your own scratch board. Now I do have uh, packets, uh, actually bags of art supplies that you'll need for uh, the art projects that we will do. So you're welcome to pick those up at the school. But if you do not have that yet, then you can still do this. I have a plain piece of paper and what I'm going to do is just fold my paper. This is just uh, the size of a uh, art paper or uh, you can even use printer paper for this. So you can just take this size and fold it in half like this and that'll be about the size uh, that I am using for my scratch board. So it'll be right about the same size and it'll be a nice size for the owl that will go on our scratch board in the next lesson. So once you go ahead and take your paper and fold it, I would make a little outline around the outside, very close to the outside. That's just to keep you from coloring all over your table. So I'm just making a basic outline. That just reminds me not to color all the way to the edge because I'll be coloring really hard and I don't wanna get the crayon all over the table. So the next step after you have your outline is uh, if you want to make this so that it looks very much like what we're doing uh, with the gold and the black, then I have used yellow. You can also make your own scratch board with different colors underneath and then do a layer of black over top of that. So what I've done is I've gone ahead and made this side all ready to go. And what I've done with my yellow crayon here is I just I pressed really really hard to get it nice and dark and waxy and bright and you can see I didn't go any further than that guideline because again I don't want to be pressing really hard and scribbling on my table once I have that layer of yellow over everything I'm going to take my black crayon and now I have to do a layer of really dark waxy black over top of this so I've already started and I'm not going to take the time to do the whole thing, but I'll just do this little bit so that you can get the idea. Now, if you just do it light like that, it does not cover up the yellow. So that's not how you want it. You want it really dark and waxy so you can't see the yellow anymore. So I'm going to go along the edge, not all the way out. I don't want to scribble on my table, but almost to the edge. And now I'm pressing really hard right over top and I'm getting a nice dark waxy black over top. You may have to go over a couple times. Sometimes you'll notice it actually kind of takes it off a little and you'll just have to take your black and go back over those areas that come off. You can hear probably how hard I'm pressing to get this to do to do this to cover up the yellow. Now I'm pressing really hard. If your hand gets tired, just take a break for a couple minutes and then come back and do it some more. All right, so again, I'm not gonna take the time to do this entire thing, but you would. When you're all done, you're going to have this entire thing in black and then you'll be able to do the drawing that I show you in the next video on how to do the tree. And as you can see, when I take uh, either a scratch tool or the tool that you can use at home uh, could even be something as simple as just a paper clip that you've pulled apart and you can use the edge of it. And as you can see, I can draw right over top. I can get my textures. See how you can see the yellow underneath? So you can follow the same instructions that I show you to do with the tree once you have this all in black. One nice thing about this is if you make a mistake, you can't really do this on the scratch paper that I uh, am using in class, but if you're using this, the one nice thing about it is if you make a mistake, really all you have to do is color back over it. And it kind of erases your mistakes. So that is the one, one nice thing about using the crayon scratch board. You can just erase your mistakes and then redraw, right? You can do that as many times as you need to. 
Um, if you want to make it nice and stiff, this is more uh, like a cardboard kind of a material. Um, when you're finished with uh, your scratch board, I'm going to cut it so that you don't see that white all around the outer edge. And this would be just black then. And then see how this is curling somewhat? And that may happen to you um, when you're coloring with it because just putting a couple layers of crayon, it just tends to curl your paper. And then if possible, I would find maybe the back of a tablet or a cardboard box um, or something that's a little bit stiffer than just plain paper. And I would take just maybe some glue or a glue stick and then glue this down to the cardboard and then cut the cardboard out the same size as your scratch paper and that's just going to make it a little bit uh, more of a surface that will stand up to uh, our gluing of the owl on later on so the paper is just a little bit flimsy um, it'll work but if it's possible just to glue this down to something that's a little bit more substantial, that would be a good idea for future use.